Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another video about Notepad++. Today we are going to learn six powerful ways to sort lines. Now these lines can contain text, numbers, uh, integers, commas, you know, decimals and all, all sort of things. Now sorting line is a pretty common, common uh, feature that people ask for uh, when you're working with a large amount of text. And so we will learn uh, different ways to sort them. And and the list is right here, uh, sorting lines different in different ways. And uh, so very first is sorting line lexicographically. Now, that is a mouthful. So what is exactly a lexicographical order? Uh, it is essentially an alphabetical order, and if you really want to learn more about that, uh, maybe you can look at the Wikipedia page uh, about lexicographic order. But uh, I'll give you just a short example just to what it is. So this is, let's say we want to sort these four lines. So the first line is just uh, some text. Second starts with number, one, two, and then the, the last line is 10 uh, and software. Now, if I may ask you to sort these, you might sort it in this way, right? Or one, two, and 10. But if you try to sort these lines lexicographically, uh, it might end up being a little different than what you initially thought. So let's try that. So in order to use these, you have to go to edit, line operations, and all these six lines, six uh, different ways are right here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll also look at the, the line sorting randomly. But let's pick the, f the very first one. Sort lines lexicographically ascending. As you saw here, uh, actually 10 came before two. And that is uh, because it considered one as also a text. So again, if you want to learn more about lexicographic order, you can uh, look at the Wikipedia page. Uh, so let's look at each of these cases one by one. Uh, and I have a number of examples that we are going to look into. Uh, and hopefully at the end of this video, you will learn uh, all of these different methods, all right? So I have an example or a number of example here and so we'll try to sort these things out. So the very first example is a pretty straightforward uh, example where you have uh, just an, just a different numbers and all you want to do is sort them, right? And so in order to do that, you select them, go to edit, line operations, and uh, we saw ascending and descending works in the same way, so I'm not looking into that but we'll take a look at this third or well we'll look at this one sort lines as decimals right because that contains some decimals so if I want to sort them click on this and as you can see that these uh, these numbers uh, or decimal numbers are sorted off um, you know from small to the largest now, let's take, take a look at uh, this email address list. So I have about, you know, 18 different emails. And uh, let's say I would like to sort them uh, alphabetically or lexicographically uh, where it, from A to Z, right? Uh, so there are about 18 emails. And I have added just a, a hint here. If you look at these uh, different emails, there are two emails that starts with uppercase, right? Line number 26, which starts with uppercase, and then line number 29, that starts with uppercase. Now, let's see what happens when we try to sort these, right? So I'll select all the email addresses, go to line, uh, sorry, edit, line operations, and go to sort line lexicographically ascending, right? So what happened here? Actually, if you notice, uh, all the all the emails 
are sorted alphabetically, but it actually put the uppercase characters right on the top. It, it did sort them, but it didn't sort as we probably would have anticipated. What we would have assumed is G and GR or GA uh, would be followed by GR because that's the alphabetical order. And that is the reason why we have another option called sort line lexicographically while ignoring the case, right? So if I go and if I do control Z, it'll go back to how it was. So I'm going to select these emails again, but this time I'll go to edit line operations. And actually I'll use the second option sort line ascending ignoring the case all right so let's click that and now it seems to be working fine right if you look at uh, the the very first letter it starts with g a then g r and h and so on so it did ignore the uppercase and it sorted the email addresses uh, from a to z so that is the second option. So we saw how to just uh, do a regular sort lines. Uh, we now know what this ignoring case means. And we also looked at actually this one, uh, sorting line decimal with dots. Uh, sorting line as decimals comma is works similar ways because there are certain countries or certain uh, type, uh, if you're working with a financial uh, numbers, then instead of uh, dots, you may have a comma, right? So in that case, you may want to, in fact, let's do that. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to, let's say I have something like this, right? And I'm going to jumble up this numbers. If you would like to know what I'm doing, you can look at my one minute challenge videos uh, to see these these tricks uh, or keyboard shortcut that I'm using. But now you can see it is actually jumbled up. It's not in an ascending order and there's a comma uh, instead of dots. So I'm going to select them, go to edit, line numbers, and this time I'm going to pick sort line as ascending comma, right? And as you can see, it did sort them, uh, in, uh, uh, including the commas, right? So it sorted all these numbers considering these commas as well. All right, so let's go a little further and a little more complex example. Now, let's say you have a, a chapter list uh, with some text and number at the beginning. And if you would like to just do a, just a simple sort, right? Uh, we can do the this this particular uh, feature to sort them ascend uh, in ascending or descending order. So let's select these, and as you can see, that the, the the chapter numbers are you know jumbled up uh, one, two, three, four, and and I have already jumbled this up. So I'm going to select these, go to edit, go to line operations, and I'm going to just do. Well, I can use any of these, but let's use a sort line as integers. And once I do that, it is not in a nice, you know, ascending order. So you can easily sort text like this. Now, the next example is just a little more challenging, right? The numbers are not starting right at the beginning, but actually it comes after a text called chapter. Again, these uh, chapters are, you know, jumbled up. And so chapter one, two, three, and so on, right? So can we sort these kind of uh, text? Well, sure, uh, the Notepad++ is smart enough to know that there is some text in front and I need to sort based upon this. So I select this text or these lines, go to edit, line operations, and uh, I can use, let's use this one, sort line. And as you can see, it actually sorted them nicely in chapter one to eight. All right, so, so far we are doing pretty good. 
the last example is a really complex one. Uh, so let's say you have a, a book and a book has different parts and each part has different chapters and then you would like to sort them, right? So here actually there are some part one chapters and then again there's some chapter or part two with some chapters and so on. And so it's kind of hard to, to really sort them. So let's see if Notepad++ is smart enough to actually sort even uh, these kind of a complex chapter system, right? So I'm going to select all of these and I would like to see if it can sort in part one and then chapter one, two, three, four and part two and chapter one, two, three, four on and so on. So I select them go to edit line operations and uh, I can use any of these uh, but I'm going to use this one and look at this it is able to sort them pretty nicely it put all the part one on the top and then chapter it also sorted to one two three uh, one two seven or one two eight actually and then part two chapter one two eight, one two four so yeah, we saw many different ways to sort lines. Actually, there are six ways. So we actually looked at all of these. Uh, we didn't look at the last one, which is a sort line randomly. So let's try that. I'm going to select this. Uh, and and basically, it it it, uh, it is what it says, right? It, it just, you select lines. And, and sometimes you would like to sort randomly. You just want to change it. So... Let me pick this. Uh, yeah, let's pick this one and go to edit, line operation, and then uh, you may not be able to see that, but the very last option is sort line randomly. And so now, as I did that, as you can see that all the numbers are, you know, changed uh, in a random order. Now, if I want to go back and test this out, I can go back, add it, line operations, and then ascending or one of these. Uh, so, so far we all looked into ascending uh, order, but the same thing would also work for descending. So let's, let's try one of them. So we'll pick this, go to edit, line operations, and this time, sorry, you cannot see the menu, but I'm going to change it to descending order. Now here is what we actually discussed just a while ago because we assume that number 10 should appear right at the top, right? Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7. But because this lexicographical order works in a just a little different ways, uh, it, it ordered in this way. Now one way to fix this one is you can easily put zeros in front. Right, uh, so the chapter uh, or or the the yep the chapter number is starts has an additional zero in front, and now if I try to descend, I go back, line order and descending. Now you can see it starts from ten, nine, eight, seven, and so on. So, yeah, we looked at a different ways to sort lines. Actually, we looked at six different ways to sort lines, which has numbers integer, decimals, comma, and so on. So that's about it. I hope if you guys made it to this far, I hope you guys learned something new. And if you like this content, please like uh, or subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, please uh, add that into comment section. Thank you.